United is making in its flights and laying off nearly 500 workers. But the economic impact could be bigger than you think. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin is live at Hopkins Airport tonight. And Mike, how deep will the cuts go? Well, Dina, some feel it will have an impact on area hospitals, especially when it comes to recruiting doctors. Others feel it may have an impact on the economy, especially when you're talking about businesses that may look at Cleveland when it comes to relocating. As the news of Cleveland no longer being a hub for United Airlines flies through the city, some feel the airline's decision flies in the face of what this city is trying to do. Um, I just think the timing is really horrible that they're, they're pulling their hub out. University Hospital's chief medical officer, Michael Anderson, is not happy. He says the airline's decision will hurt area doctors who travel around the country showing their research. It will hurt the recruitment of top docs and also hurt patient care. Patients travel from all across the world to come here to Cleveland for medical care. The more routes they have to take, the more connections they have to take, um, is much less convenient for them. So I think they'll still come here because we have just wonderful medical care. We just hate for it to be inconvenient. Paul Murphy is a professor of logistics at John Carroll University. He says the reduction in flights could have a huge impact economically, especially on attracting big events, as the city now is trying to get the Republican National Convention in 2016. It's, I think it's going to make it more challenging to kind of bring in larger events because of, um, you know, there's just, there's just a limited number of, of, of seats. And businesses who may look to relocate Northeast Ohio may do a flyby with no direct flights. That's what happened in Cincinnati when Delta left, as reported by our sister station, WCPO. Because when companies are looking for headquarters, they look for hub cities with plenty of international flights, and we just don't have that like we used to. All right, if there is a silver lining, Professor Murphy believes the reduction in flights could actually lower ticket prices. Live on your side at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.